You're listening to Catalyst Church World Harvest Ministry Podcast, transforming lives and influencing the marketplace, campus, community, and the next generation. I believe God has something for you today. Amen? God has something for us today. Uh, The year was 14th century BC, to be exact, 1446. And what happened then, no? Unsay nahitabo sa una has a great significance sa atong mga kinabuhi karon. Uh, this has been the greatest display of God's power in history. Some people tried to try to kanang disqualify this as historical. Ani nga pangitabo? There's a group of people who's trying to take this away from history saying that it did not happen. But again and again, God has raised up many of his servants that will truly prove that it did happen. Amen. And I'm, I'm talking about the Exodus. Okay. So, just a review for last week. Pastor Justin was sharing, no, nga, it has always been the desire of God to put us back to his original purpose. Amen. Can say mo amen, Anna. It has always been his desire to bring us back to our original design. Okay, so when, when God was saying to Pharaoh, Pharaoh, let my people go, for us, the significance is we have to leave Egypt and it means that we need to leave emptiness, greed and lust, yearnings of this world, passive lifestyle, even troubles and hardships. Can say mo agree, Anna? Gusto gyud sa Ginoo nga mag- magkinabuhi ta nga dili empty kun dili puno ta sa iyaha. Amen. No nga dili ta magsigi gukod gukod sa mga buta nga dili dili gyud makasatisfy, makafully kanang kuan sa ato ah, kanang makahatag sa ato ah, og ka, kanang completeness. Even the things of this world, the yearnings of this world always makes us dry. Nagdito kanta sa una no nga earthly things Make me dry, only you can satisfy. And then, from passive lifestyle and also troubles and hardships. Ang um, wala kaayo na to na sabti, no, is that when the Lord did that, when the Lord did that, uh, sometimes, kwana sa to, we accept it because we always listen to it. Sige na ta kadungog nga, kanang ang paggawas sa ginoo sa Egyptian has a great significance for us, but wala kayo na ito nakuha. Kung saan mag yudaituod ang significance? Nga naman, how did it happen? How, how is it relevant to me right now? Ako karon nga naana sa 21st century. So, unsa saan mag yud? Kung saan mag yud ang giingon sa ginoo? Okay, sa ato ang karon, we say things from hindsight na. Sa ilaha, wala sila idea. All they were thinking, the Israelites during those times, all they were thinking was that they are in agony. They are in this in great distress. They need help. They cry out to God. For 430 years, they were in Egypt. But it was during the time, no, nga naana yung mga pharaohs, nga they rise up, nga na-threaten sa ilang existence because they grew to be from 75 during the time ni Jacob. Karo, nahimo na silang abot as like millions. And then they were so threatened. There was even a time, no nga, kanang gipamatay ang mga lalaki. Tanan nga mga lalaki nga mataw. Kung lalaki ka, bahug yung ka sa crocodile. Because the, uh, Egypt during that time was threatened of their existence. What if, kaning mga tawhana, di man din ato sila kalahi. By the way, they are Asians. And the Egyptians are Africans. They have, they have so many differences in the culture. Kung sabi sila, parti man nilang naghanap, basig na atay, kung naay mo atake sa ato ah, mo ba na niya ni sila sa itong kontra, patay taan eh. So, they were threatened. So, at one point sa history, mo to, nga grabe ang pagpamatay sa mga, mga bata na lalaki. And then, dito nagsugod ang story, na-unfold ang story. Uh, ingon ang ginoo sa iyang pulong, iyang design sa ato ah, sa Genesis 1, verse 28, no? Then God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. and multiply. Fill the earth and govern it. Reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. Mona ang kabubuton sa ginoo sa toa, that we will always be fruitful and multiply wherever we go. 
bisag asa tanya dan on bisag asa bisag bisag unsa ang sitwasyon mahimo gitong fruitful o uh, multiply ta and then in John chapter 8 verse 32 God says and you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free it's not just the truth but it's the truth that you know daghan kay mga giingon ang ginoo sa iyang pulong but unless you know it and unless you believe it it will not set you free right so we really need we really need to know the truth to really understand the truth and then by the way the truth is not just an information the truth is a person and that is Jesus Christ himself he said i am the way the truth and the life no one can come to the father except through me no so ano nga mga studies na tumaisoon no let us receive what god has for us the truth that will that will set us free. Amen? Amen. Okay, so let us understand, as I have said, no, ah, uh, kaya nakita naman na to, unsa ang nahitabo, hindsight na ba, na natay understanding, for, for the Israelite, they have no idea. Basta, gusto namin mo haba na rin! We wanna be out of this place! Pero, ang plano day sa Gino is to execute judgment against the enemy. Exodus chapter 12, verse 12, it says here, I will execute judgment against all the gods of Egypt, for I am the Lord. It was not just the ten plagues. It, this, it was not just kanang, ah, sige, tanang klase ka talagman, at mo ane. But in the sight of God and in the heart of God, he was planning to execute judgment against the ten famous or first ten gods. Get it? By the way, the God is the God sa unang time. Nagpakita ang ginoo na siya ang buhi ng Diyos. Because at that point of time, only this group of people, no, nga may worship sa tinuod ng ginoo. Ginoo nga naghimo sa langit o sa yuta. Ginoo nga naghimo ni mo o nako. Okay, so, Numbers 33, verse 4 says, The Lord has defeated the gods of Egypt that night with the great acts of judgment. Amen. So, maybe you're thinking, may nung mga halano. So, if God, God is executing judgment among those gods of Egypt, sa to pa, tinuod yun dito sila ng mga gods? Is that your thinking? Let me answer. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 19 to 20, it says here, Paul, talking about sacrificing, no sacrifice, or giving sacrifice to idols. He said, what am I trying to say? Am I saying that food offered to idols has some significance? Or that idols are real gods? No, not at all. I am saying that these sacrifices are offered to demons, not to God. And I don't want you to participate with demons. Let me explain to you. For every God with gamay nga ji that a person worshiped, it has no power. Kung mag-worship ka, ribulto, wala na power. It's not a real God. But there's a demon inside it. There's a demon behind it. So when God executes judgment against the gods of the Egyptians, it is saying that God is executing judgment against the demons behind that idol. That's why God hates idolatry. So, ko jud ang ginoo idolatry. And it was during those times no, that the Lord is demonstrating who He really is in the sight of all the people. I want you to read Exodus chapter 10, verse 1 and 2. Then the Lord said to Moses, Return to Pharaoh and make your demands again. I have made him and his official stubborn. For what reason? For three reasons. Number one, so I can display my miraculous signs among them. Number two, I have also done it so you can tell your children and grandchildren about how I made a mockery of the Egyptians and about the signs I displayed among them. If you are familiar with history, Katunga time, grabe ka superpower ang Egypt. And even up to now, we can see traces. Walay makasuon sa pyramid. Walay makasuon sa ilang mga structures. They are really brilliant. They were the first people were civilized. No? And then, grabe, grabe ka is sila ka-excellent. Grabe ang grandeur sa Egypt. But God did something. No? 
Ang gusto sa Ginoo nga atong isulti sa atong mga anak bisan sa atong mga apo kung unsa kuno iyang gibuhat as he displayed his great power among them among the Egyptians and lastly and so you will know that I am the Lord Amen so that you will know that I am the Lord basi naao ba nato dire gaduha pa ta kung kinsa man jud ang Ginoo tinuod ba jud ang Ginoo This is the reason. Amen. It, it, it also applies to us, no? Gusto sa Gino, masabta na to. Siya dyan ang Diyos. As I was studying, no, there are so many discoveries that are so misleading. At one point sa history, when Rome declared, no, nga, Christian na sila, di naman yun nila mapugnan ang Christianity. And then at one point, Constantine was, was saying, the dream ko, na did he may travel ang Israel aning area and then ang Mount Sinai mauni siya did you know what that was so misleading even up to now people were thinking that Mount Sinai and even the route going from Egypt to Canaan was in a certain place and then there was a there was a time even that even Bible scholars were saying di man yun itinuod di man yun mao wala man yun traces Because it was the work of the devil to tamper the truth. But lately, God made it happen na makita gid unsa ang tinood. Asa dyan ang ruta? Unsa gid ang tinood ng Mount Sinai? You know what? Kung walay proof, then these ten plagues is just a story. But I tell you, there is, there are proofs, countless proofs that this story really happened. And God said, this is the reason why I, I allow this to happen. Why I show forth my miracles so that I can display my miraculous powers among the Egyptians. I've also done it so you can tell it to your children. Minyo baka? Single baka? Put this in your mind and in your heart. You have a great role to pass on to the next generation what God did. You pass it on the information. Balik-balik dito, balik-balik yun. This is what you are going to say. When your children will ask you, what happened? What's the significance of this? This is what happened, and this is the truth. Amen. And lastly, so that we will know that our God is the living God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So number six na plague. Unsa may nahita mo? No. Pasawa na to sa Exodus chapter 9, verse 8 to 12. We know the story. No. Lima naman to kagads ang gijudge. Karon, let's go to number six. So they shook soot from a brick kiln and went and stood before Pharaoh. As Pharaoh watched, Moses threw soot into the air. And boils broke out into people and animals alike. Even mga magicians, gitrain nila sa on, no? But what happened? Iyon dere. Even the magicians were unable. Dilit nila makaya ng sa on. Other other miracles, pwede nila pwede nila masuon through their magic, black magic. But this time, dilit nagyan nila masuon. But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart. Pagkahit yah po si Dino yung kasing kasing para ang iyang the power ma display so ika number six nga gods gods nga gi gi judge sa gino is isis si isis si katsha si katsha sa mga goddess sa, sa egypt and gi consider siya as the goddess of medicine and peace sa diha ang gibuhat ni sa gino nga milagro he was proving that the goddess that they were they were worshiping at that time which is isis has no hold, or wala, wala galing pwedeng mabuhat, dili niya kontrolado ang mga sakit. Kung dili, no, when God made the judgment, He was trying to say that you are not a real God. Because He said in His word, in Isaiah 53, that Jesus was beaten so that we could be whole, He was whipped so that we could be healed. When God judged, He judged sa ginoo ang Goddess na si Isis. On the other hand, he also promised in Exodus chapter 15 to 26, nga sa iyang mga katawan, ingon siya dari, if you will listen carefully to the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in His sight, obeying His commands and keeping all His decrees, then I will not make you suffer any of the disease I sent on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Amen. So, Mone ang mone and ako kay nga distinction when when the Israelites were so helpless no nakaingon sila og uy unsa man dayto nga tong gisimba nga gisimba nga maoy tig ayo na tuwa may magyu mabuhat no so in a way ba murabit kung sakwaan pa na 
Kung sa boxing pa na, na, na knock out yun. No, this goddess of gods and goddess of Egypt of Egypt is one good helpless. Wala gina buhat. And then, sa gihapon, no, gialaw sa gino nga magahi ang kasing-kasing. Ang kasing-kasing ni Pharaoh para tuloy-tuloy ang pag-display sa ginoo sa iyang gahong ngadto sa iyang mga katawan. Imagina ninyo, kung matagtikik lang gali ka nga usala, labi nagsasampot, bisod, gaayo, ilingkod, no? Mabalpakan, pailin-ilin. But imagine this, ang tanang abog na giit sa nahimong hubag-hubag na ipilit sa lawa sa tao, pating daga ng hubag-hubag. Kung saan na lang gid ka, ano, kung imong naong may mahubagan, No? Conscious na magali ka sa gumay kay pimple. <laughs> but inon dito, boils ka no, burst out sa mga skin sa mga Egyptians. Grabe to kangil, grabe to kangil ngig, no. Kung if you are there, siguro na makaiyon ka gano. Ang sama ni, grabe gud ni nga, grabe ni siya nga skin disease, no. Ya, yeah. wala pa may mga tambang sa una nga pareha sa tuwa karon na mauga diretso ang hubag, no? Mga antibiotics. So it was really dreadful for the Egyptians and they suffered a lot because of that. But his people, God's people, wala gyud bisag usa ka hubag ning takboy sa ilang mga law, ning abot sa ilang mga lawas. So God indeed is proving to his people that he is in control even sa ilang mga physical bodies. Next is By the way, Wala ko sa akong title. Okay. I'm talking about benefits of leaving Egypt. Okay, so number one is escape from sickness and disease. Okay. Nag-ano na akong kuha ng coach. Okay. So, <laughs> ikaw babe, sa Egypt, gabot na. Egypt, gabot na babe. Pero late na. The benefits of leaving Egypt. Amen. If we leave Egypt, my soul. No, it's a picture, my God, of the life that we have been before. Karon na naatata sa gino, makaklaim na taghile because Amen. he is exempt of escape there, <laughs> escape sickness and disease. Yeah. Okay, so karon my soul, I pray nga na anatay buhi na testimony about healing. Amen. Before when I came to know the Lord, kano daghan kay ko gipangbati sa lawas. No kano daghan ko kano every time mag mag monthly period kano mga pasapasabi tayo nya. Nahadlog na ko kay lagha ng isura sa kuwa nga. Uh, no, simto man naglogemia ka ng severe man na imuha. Ito niya, luspad kayo ko. Tapos, basta launa na gali, dili ko kakaon. Tabango na ko. Nabito, daghan kayo ko. Unsa man, unsa man. Uy, daghan na kayo ko. Dipang bati-bati nga. Kung mamanuta ako, third year high school. At that, when I was 15 years old, ang akong tambal na ginainom kay, ano na, may lant, may lanta 500. No, so, when I came to know the Lord, our disciples shared to us this very verse. No, sa King James na tong version, di ko kalimot, because I am the God that healeth thee. Mawaman na sabi na kaindi, kini I am the Lord that heals you. I am the God that healeth thee. Niya, balik-balik niya, kanang katukanta ni Bumo niya. I am the Lord that healeth thee. I am the Lord your healer niya. At that time, like so on, kayo ko, sure? Na, ayaw na ko sa ginoon siya. Sige, mag-fasting ta. Kukuya, exempted lang ko. Kaya naapi ako ko'y sakit. Ginan ko niya. Wala pa na yung kakabaw? Mag-iayaw na mag-as ginoon. Di pa giingnan na matika na Exodus. So, hindi siya. Uy, di mo hindi ka sabot. Kuya ka na. Pwede, one meal lang. Kaya sila ta na, tag two meals man siya. Sige, ba ma-prove din mo. Mag-iayaw dyan ka sa ginoon. Natingala dyan ko. Kaya wala na dyan ko. Gibati. No, then. Nakahila ko. Nakain ko. Wow. Mo ko katuo pero tinuo jud ay ang Ginoo mo ayo gyud sa atong mga balatian. Amen. I don't know about you but it has to be personal. You have to have a testimony about it. Uh, my kids are sometimes are also kanang complaining kanang bitaw magbisig at sing, dali ra mag sip on and sa among family nga na bitanan. I praise the Lord kay na overcome na nako. I cannot wake up early in the morning without sneezing before Kay allergy man siya, no? But I praise the Lord. Uh, so exactly eight years ago, God healed me. And it was so real. So I, I told my sons, I told my children, na mga anak, you have to have a personal encounter with the Lord. So that it will become a personal testimony. Na, ayaw ko sa ginoo. Kaya naaman may anak. Yung kuma, 
You have to really cry out to the Lord for your healing. I cannot heal you, but God truly is our healer. Amen? So what, what are the benefits? Number one, benefits of leaving Egypt. Number one, maka-escape tasa, sickness, and diseases. Si Isis, wala na gahog sa tua. Amen. Okay, next. Let's go to Exodus chapter 9, verse 13 to 26. I'm 23 to 26. Okay. So Moses lifted his staff towards the sky, and the Lord set, sent thunder and hail, and lightning flashed towards the earth. The Lord sent a tremendous hailstorm against all the land of Egypt. Never in all the history of Egypt had there been a storm like that, with such devastating hail and continuous lightning. It fell all Egypt in ruins. The hail struck down everything in the open field. People, animals, and plants alike. Even the trees were destroyed. The only place without hail was the region of Goshen, where the people of Israel lived. Amen. So, nagulan og nagulan og hail. No kanang hail gali. Dagko nga lusok sa ice. Okay? Ang snow kay di ba? Kung ano mag siya, gagmay kaysa nga tanag. But hail gali. Mag, ma, ma, magapakan gali ka na sa imo ulo. Dagko na siya nga ice. No, that mabukol jud ka. Mabukol jud ka. Di yun siya basta-basta. But the Lord warned them already that this is what I'm going to do. And the people of Israel, listen. No? Yes. No, and ito agad sila. Huwag yun nag-joke again. No? May tabo, giniwa niya. Ang mga, ang mga Egyptians po. Ano? Sige, sige. Manago ta. Itong mga hayop. Itong mga paan. Pero ako pa. Ha? Tsara na ay. Wala sila na minaw. So, ang mga wala na minaw, bukol ang labas. <laughs> bukol ang labas. So, Kung sa gingon, sa ginoo, sa ihang pulong. Okay? The second benefits of living Egypt is we will gain God's protection. Amen. So, the hail storm no, was so rampant in the areas where there are Egyptians, but in the place of Goshen, where God's people live, wala din sila naka-experience. Anna. And then the Lord said in Isaiah 52 verse 12, this is His promise for us. You will not live in a hurry, running for your life. Sila bitang, muro ka gigukod kay, uy, patay kita ane, wala tayo kapainan. But it says here, but the Lord will go ahead of you. Yes, the God of Israel will, will protect you from behind. This is His promise. So God was judging the God, the God, the goddess of the sky, sa mga Egyptian, which is not, no? Are you not? Joke. <laughs> okay. Say not the I goddess Denisha, sa goddess of the sky. So try to imagine. Naku kay sila pagsalig no? Sige, sige. Luhod, luhod kay na. Paghuman. Halak ka. Pag tagak-tagak na rusdag ko kayo. Not as tanaka! <laughs> no, they were so shocked because God was in control. At first, when Moses declared that this is what God is going to do, hindi sila katuo, wag ko nilagin pang sunod ang ilang mga hayop. No, maliban lang sa pipila nga na mina o may patuo. They were not really expecting no, nga mas gamhanan pa ang buwi nga Diyos sa mga Israelites kaysa ilang Diyos na sinat. But the Lord proved His power. He sent judgment on the goddess of the sky sa mga Egyptians, which is, which is not. Because the Lord is well able to protect us. Amen? Uh, there are so many times in our lives nga kung nabitang nanay mga threatening na mga nga, mga sitwasyon, like uh, ako, experience na ako kana aside sa sickness, mga mga sickness and, and diseases, nakatry ko nga ka ng sa bus bitaw, sa bus nga, ikakasakay sa bus, na ako ato sa pagadian na assign ko, di ko kas- wako kasakay sa bus, nabiyan ko sa bus, and then later on, pagsakay na ako sa next na bus, natuwa di ay ang, ang first, ang bus na ako utang sakyan niya, wala na da yun. And there are many, many other occasions na labi na good sa akong JV, rabi gay kong mga experience na ni JV, ng mga near death good nga situation na makain kong Lord, na adyo ka nga nag-protect sa mga. Amen. Real ka yung protection sa ginoo. Nga, dili jud ko makainom na accident na to siya. No, no, no. No, because God will always prove Himself that indeed He is our God that protects us. No, sa, bisa, nun sa mga sitwasyon, sometimes i-protect niya sa mga, mga dautan ng mga tao. 
Dautan nga mga sayop nga mga transactions, sayop nga mga decisions and many others. He is well able to protect our investment. He is well able to protect no even ang atong reputation, ang atong kinabuhi as a whole because God is our protector. So, we will gain God's protection. That's one benefit na panang dili mahatag sa kalibutan ngay so no bisan kinsa nga ning claim nga ginuo sila. Okay, next Exodus chapter 10 verse 12 to 15. It says here, when the Lord said to Moses, raise your hand over the land of Egypt to bring on the locust. Let them cover the land and devour every plant that survived the hailstorm. So Moses raised his staff over Egypt and the Lord caused an east wind to blow over the land all that day and through the night. When morning arrived, the east wind had brought the locust. Okay, so Nakakita na mo glocos? Na pa ba nasa sibong? <laughs> okay, na apa. Okay. Uh, ang glocos is known to be the ganang kuan kanang unsa itawag ani mga pung mo. Atake da ko ni sila. Ya, inig inig atake nila by swarm man sila no. Inig hawa nila atong ilaha gi atake. Wala nay mabilin. No. And by the way, katong kagani ang hill store ang na na guba sa hailstorm is ang mga flask or, or barley sa mga Egyptians. It represents their clothing. Mga clothing, ano nila ba? Para material for clothing. And then, gihurot to. So, it brings discomfort para sa ilaha. Mga arti pa naman na sila. And then, karon pagkaon na ginila ang nahilagtan sa locos. So, God was, try, was trying to tell them about what He can do. Okay, God was uh, trying to convince them that they need to really yield to the Lord, or even sa kang Pharaoh, no, na dapat maminaw siya sa ginoo, dapat good muhanga siya sa ginoo, kasi siya good ang nai ability ng mukuha sa mga butang na ilahang gisaligan pagayo. And for this matter, God was sending judgment to the to the God of storms and disorder, which is Seth ang alan. No, so, grabe ang dibuhat sa ginoo sa ilaha, nga ang ilang food supply na apiktahan, and then, murag naglisod sila, asa sila mga pa, but still, the heart of Pharaoh was hardened. This represents, no, ato ang provision, or ato ang financial no breakthrough. So, the benefit, one of the benefits is, to, is, from living Egypt is, yield, financial breakthrough. Ang atong pagsunod sa Ginoo o ang atong pagbiya sa Egypt, makatabang nato nga makabatuntag financial breakthrough. Uh, sa akong kinabuhi as an example as a testimony, when we came to know the Lord, ang pinaka butang gyud niya nakapa duol na mo sa Ginoo was na bankrupt me. Ah, uh, daghan daghan mi daghan mi sa una og panginabuhi during sa among sa among nga time sa amo ang lugar sa una ay I used to live in Lano del Norte. Ano ko yung mga babayan taga kapatagan din na Basilion. Okay, and then tanan jud tanan avenue nga makain kami like na ani sari-sari nga nasira-sira. Dayo na mo ang panginabuhi dito kay tanang Madbold, Thresher, makarelate pa kung paano ni. And then na may bilyana, na may majungan, na may joke box. Kana tanan, no kana. Na, na ano siya ka nang dili nindot tanan ang dagat and then my mom was, which was a teacher at that time nagingon siya nga murag wala na man gyud tayo ka paingnan ani mo duol na tas Ginoo so ko upa pa no palayo ba ni tas Ginoo nga duol na matas kapilya na duol ra gyud kay ta ingon <laughs> akong mama dili lahi ra gyud na magsampit ta sa Ginoo nga pinaagi sa Biblia and then it went so well because somebody just came to us and shared to us the true message of the gospel for the first time in the history of our lives nga naminaw me sa Bible study no nga kaming tanang ganganga na ano may tig-share sa mga before pero wala yung impact bita you know what I mean and ang gusto bita nga okay pero when that person shared to us and siya tanawan na yung mga nao oh muna dyan ka na nao ninyo karun tingnan niya niya tanawan na yung mga nao oh Yeah, exciting, no? Kaya nga naman, we're not talking about religion here. 
that we're talking about the Word of God, we're talking about the love of God, and it's more real than anything else. Bisan pa sa inyong hang na-experiensyahan ka ron, no? Kay, that time, oh, kapuya, ani, oh, asa mataadi, ano ito? So, God did something amazing sa mga. So, ang dibuhat sa gino, wala na gid, wala na gid, as in, na kami baga kayong listahan sa utak, Gina na mo mga magpapa, mauwang sila maningil. Kami na lang maningil, 16 ko ito, ang manghod, 15. Kami yung mga high school, kami na lang bahala, anima pa. No? Pag paningil na mo, mo uli may nga, mahilak may kay, grabing rejection. Kamura naman nanog kami, utangan. Harsh kay ang mga tao, mga mong padula niya. Na, no, sinong JC, dito mo na kayo. Kami na siya, utang sa to, di ba ka to, mga hiyana, dito. Pero ka nagitang buta, nagigaya kong papa sa una. Ano, tayo-tayo ba? Tayo-tayo, mga kumparihan na tayo-tayo. Pero party ng dadhana. Kuan, dahil kayo, ito kapag mga person. Baga na dahil kayo, yan, bali. At ako, dagko, nito ng mga utang. Pero, we decided, ingo na kong papa, magsakit na mga itong dugha na ni. Kung diyan, tanis din mo, gigisi na mo tayo ng papil, kalisahan sa utang, susunog na mo, kami yung tanan, no? Mura may gagroup hug, yan po na mo, Lord, ikaw na'y bahala na mo gino. Pero naka-experience siya gano'y ba? Saging in the morning, saging at noon, saging in the evening. I think that was three days. Yan ako ka-recall. No, but the Lord was so faithful. Just somebody just came in to my, to, to my papa. No, naingon nga manong dyan. Ang uh, sa'y problema? Ang mo laging marbot o treasure, dili, mo na lang gano'n ta'ng mong saligan. Uh, dili, maka-operate kay, among lugar, kay basakan man o, no, fish man. Uh, di ka operate kay kanang daot. Ngayon siya. Manong John, na every thousand, o ipaayon na. So pagpaayon na, nabalik ang among kwan, nabalik ang among ang operation. So that sustained us for that time. The Lord was so good kay. That was the first time naka-experience siya ngayon. Somebody helped us. Pagka-recover na mo, nibayad mig, inamig. No, no, no. Ayaw, baray- bayari manong. Ano na to siya? Kanang natago, tas ginoo manong. Ay, ayaw, nag- ay nag-ibalik. Kaya nabi ta, yun na, kuya mo, no? Nabig ipautang, ipasailo na mo, and then balusan mi sa ginoo, first time to siya, for, para sa mo, bang ulo. Lako na kayo ng 2,000 sa unang may suol. No? I'm talking about uh, 1989. Lako na kayo ng 3,000 sa unang. Kabalo lang sa kong edad. <laughs> okay. So, God was so amazing. And then, no, after that, the Lord restored everything. The Lord restored. Sa una, makilumdong ko ba? Ngayon sila, kanang maestra? Wa, na, gasalig sulto. Gasalig na sa? <laughs> Maulo mo, ba yung utang? No. Muna ang among lifestyle sa una, magsalig na tayo tao na ni sa kuan. Sa, sa atong mautangan, nalita, among kuan tao no, check na lang sa sukli ba? Sukli na lang <laughs> among kuan sa among utangan sa una. But the Lord is so faithful. God has caused everything to, ano, kanang, to just, and I fall into place, na buhat yun ang ginoo. Uh, even when, I, mean, I, I remember when I started the ministry, my allowance is just 25 pesos a week. I started serving the Lord at the age of 18. But the Lord is so faithful, so, so faithful. Even during those times, yeah, sa pioneering church, no, dito sa Pagadian City, when, uh, what a, buoy ang church, kay gamay kayo, and, and all this kind of stuff. No nga, murag, babag kibali ka, more blessed ka. But it was also during those times that the Lord brought me to Malaysia, Singapore, everything for free. So God is so amazing. Yes. He will allow us to experience financial breakthrough. Our blessing does not depend on our economy. Yes. Our blessing does not depend on our salary. Our blessing does not depend on how much you have in the bank. Because our God is our provider. Amen? So, kato nga tayong, gijaja gino, no, ang, ang gitawag nila nga, the God of the storm and disorder. And during at that time, no, no, perting yagak-yagak sa mga Egyptians, tungod kay, wala na sila'y pagkaon. E, burok yun, no, sa mga locos. But the Lord is so faithful. Exodus 11, verse 2 to 3. Tell all the Israelites, men and women, to ask their Egyptian neighbors for articles of silver and gold. 
Kadungog mo nang hulam nga way uli-uli, mao ni siya. <laughs> Pero gisugo sa Ginoo, amazing. Okay, now the Lord had caused the Egyptians to look favorably on the people of Israel, and Moses was considered a very great man in the land of Egypt, respected by Pharaoh's officials and the Egyptian people alike. Ning kalit lang ba nga, nasikat og mai si Moses. Siya kay mga tao. Wow, wow, ato ra Ato raman ni Gia, doon yung doon ni Tawana, na mo na ni Gahom. Dili, ang igino nga back-up niya, may gamanan. Amen. So, grabe. Ato pa ni Lodi, Lodi. Malapay kasi mo, Lodi, Lodi. Mayroon pa, mayroon pa. Mayroon dyan, di dyan ba sa basta yan, gidisplay mga Gahom sa ginoo. No, kain mo sila, grabe mo na rin siya, hadlukan dyan. So, pag ato nila sa lang mga silingan, kanang mari. Na kay gold robe din ha. Oo, oo. Sa pag gusto nimo. Daghan kaayo mga articles of kuan the gold and silver. Ipanghatag jud. Ingon ang Bible, literally they, they ransacked Israel during that night. Oh, Egypt during sorry. The Israelites ransacked no pero literally get they stripped off no the the gold and the silver from the land of Egypt. To kay grabe nga favor na mura bitag so why mo na naay mga inyong mga clothes kaya ni mo di juga kasi no kana hor na siya na feeling no nga dikit si kasi no pag na isuri oh sige sige unsa pa sa pag gusto ni mo na na ako posible so kani gusto ka hatag tanan hatag tanan but you know what the purpose of God the purpose of God when He blesses people so much ina asay plano ng maghimo sila og mga golds and silvers Go made of gold na mga paraphernalia nila sa ilang pag-worship. That was the intention. But you know the story, no? Na sidetrack sila, na di mo sa golden calf. But God has been so faithful. Kaya nga naman, i-prove din yan na tinuod ang iya hanggang ho. Amen nga. No, grabe ba? Ah, kada ko kayo na difference. All their lives, they're living as slaves. And then just one night, di sila ka to, ha, ako, ni tanan. Dagahan kayo sa katanan. Dagahan kayo sa katanan. Di na nila maato ka. Nagkahanap ako yun, Ani. Because it was the Lord who caused it to happen. May so, ikson, ayaw katingala nga. Mag-promote ka in just a day. Kaya man ka, sa day, the bump up na ako. Hindi na una siya. No? God can do amazing things if only we believe. Amen? So, iyon na po lang sa ginoono nga. He is the God who gives us the power to get wealth. If we seek wealth, Kung sige kang sunod-sunod, no? maglisod ka, pas-pas kayo siya ang dagat. Pero kung sunod ka sa ginoo, ang blessing ang mong sunod sa imong ha. The blessings will overtake you. Okay, next. Exodus chapter 10, verse 11 to 23. Then the Lord said to Moses, Lift your hand towards heaven, and the land of Egypt will be covered with darkness, so thick that you can feel it. Kasuway na mo, anak. Grabe kang ngit-ngit. Nga, murag manindog na imong balhin mo. Kaya grabe kang ngit-ngit. Lisod ka eh. Murag, murag di ka ka ginhawa. Di ito ta din hawa. <laughs> na kay Mahmud sa una. My, uh, my youngest brother. Hindi ko siya masugod. Palungod sa akong papa ang suga. Nga, ginahanong may ugpan. Palong para makatulog. Ginanong ba? So, ayaw pa, ayaw pa. Di ito ta din hawa. Hindi <laughs> siya kalito. Hindi siya kalito. Kung matry ka eh. Di ito ta din hawa. Mga tao, may ano ni Kaginawa nga woman, nag off ang hangin. <laughs> but it was total darkness. I could just, I could just imagine ba. Total darkness. Total darkness nga. You could even feel it. Creepy ba? Murag creepy ba? Mga malibaw, yung balibog, grabe, yung kagitit. Imagine for three nights. Ingo dito, no one dared to move. Isang pagpangita na lang puspuro, o kandila aron sa, wala dyan makalihok. Imagine ako sa lekaong for three nights. For three days and three nights, everybody was in shock. Everybody was in shock. So Moses lifted his hand to the sky and the deep darkness covered the entire land of Egypt for three days. And during all the time that the people could not see each other and no one moved, but this was a, there was, but there was a light as usual. Sa mga katawan sa ginoo. Amen? So, mga kapangutan na mag-iunsa mo sa ginoo. Iunsa mo dyan to niya. Na dito sa Goshen, hayag man. Pero dito sa Egypt, grabe, total darkness. The God, 
that is considered the most powerful god sa Egypt was Ra. And they even believe that the Pharaoh is the descendant of their god Ra. No? Karelate ako mga anak ani kay naay sa salida ni Peabody. <laughs> okay. But that was the belief at that time that no, the sun god, the sun god descendant was their pharaoh. So mo na nga, grabe jud dagilahang ilahang pagsalig ani nga Ginoo and then here comes na total darkness. Iba sila malisang ang pinaka dios nga ilahang gisaligan pag-ayo na defeat sa Ginoo sa mga Israelites. So it was really mind blowing, shocking experience for every one of them. Okay, so Number four, benefits from leaving Egypt is we will perceive divine direction. We will perceive divine direction. The Egyptians were deceived into thinking, no? Na, kani siya. Maudyo ni siya makatabang sa toa. Kani nga to, ang kani sangga na to. Maudyo ni, wala na yung makalukig ani niya. No, but during that day, the Lord sent judgment. So, nilisa na sila nahuna, kinsa jud atong tuan, kinsa man jud ang tinood niya, Diyos. No, and if we read Psalms 32 verse 8, it says here, I will guide you among the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. That's for me, grabe ka na ko kaya nga benefit kung naatay yung Diyos, may iso, naatay yun know. uh, o. Well, talking to my kids, I, I shared to them, no, mga anak, what you have right now is head knowledge about God. But my desire and my prayer is that you will have a personal relationship with Him and a personal, a personal experience of who He really is. Because Kung naka-experience sa ginoo, when you sing to the Lord, you mean it. Sometimes, Mom, can we sit down? It's okay, it's okay. Dino ko yung, Dino, 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 Now, if you want to sit down, okay, you can sit down, but my, my heart's desire is that you will also have a very personal relationship with God. That when you raise your head, you mean it. When you sing the song, you mean it because you have you know him, not just by head, but you know him from your heart. During that time, the Israelites, they have no personal encounter with the Lord whatsoever. It was only God was considered the God of Abraham, the God of Jacob, and the God of, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because sila tolo na ay sila buhi jud nga experience kung kinsa gud ang ginoo. And among the twelve, the 12 tribes, no, at that time, sa pagkatong sa, yung kung balik tagamay, flashback ta, si Joseph pa po, ang na ay, grabe dyan nga relationship sa ginoo. At this point of time, God wants the whole nation to really experience Him. Anong tinuod dyan nga experience nga, di kasi makaiwan, nag, oh, naaraman ko diri, kay ako, mga papa. Worship, mag-gushes, gino, layan po ba ako dili. Dili nga, nang, nang klase nga experience. You get what I mean? Yes. Pagtutong gino ni Donald, di ko na garantiya, no, nga mag-swerto si gino, nga ato po nga na, dili, bito. Mauna, nga atong role is to pave the way, just to pave the way and allow them, yes, and also to tell them, yes, this is my God, it's the living God. And maka-explain ta na, dili kay, ambot na ako, eh, naarabay po ko dili, kaya kasunod-sunod ako. Balik-balik yun. When your children will ask, this is how you're gonna say. You recite this teaching. This is how you're gonna tell them. Na, ah, na, I mean, specific instruction na ginoo. But, you can just say that. But it's the Lord who can touch their hearts. It's the Lord who could really, no, allow them to experience Him in a very powerful way. What's my point? My point is, God is a personal God. And you need to relate to Him in a very personal way. No, you cannot depend on the faith of others. You cannot depend on the faith of your wife, your husband, your mother, your father. You have to come to him in a very personal way because he is a very personal God. Amen. So during this time, no, ang gusto sa ginoo nga kita gud makaperceive ta personally sa iyang direction sa atong mga kinabuhi. That when you do something that 
You know, it's off. Makayong dito. Lain dito akong gibati. Why were you feeling that way? Because God is directing you. Nobody needs to tell you. No. Sometimes, huti anta. Kaya nga nga, di mo tamaminaw. God will allow will allow other people to tell us. Kaya nga nga, in the first place, gayong nga naman ka sa ginoo. Wala lang ka naminaw. Di dyo gumuto, di makikisuloy ang ginoo ko. Iyak ang anak. Makikisuloy ang ginoo. Sometimes in a whisper. Sometimes, no, through our dreams, sometimes through our inward nga witness at ang spirit nga off at ang gibuhat or whatever. No, but sometimes, magpalingog-lingog ta. Gamit na lang ang ginoong tao. Hindi pa dyan ta maminag tao. Ang ginoong gamit ang circumstance para makaanggo ka, oh, Lord, it is really you talking to me. Yun ang ginoong. Dito na, daghan na kayong confirmation o kung ipadala sa inyo. Okay. Ano man, anak man ta ka, I want to direct you. No, so that's divine direction. Gusto sa ginoo. Nga atong my experience. Nga, nga, gusto gito sa ginoo nga. Ang atong lakwan ba? Kay katog yung iyang dala nga prepare the pathway that he has set before us. Kinaaman jud, Naaman jud. No, uh, sometimes ito mga ginabuhi. Di magkadimao because we refuse to receive his divine guidance sa atong mga ginabuhi. During this time, give judge sa ginoo, the sun god, the the Egyptians were worshiping. Grabe ang grabe ang confusion during during anang time. There was imagine if if there's darkness, it represents death. It represents judgment. It represents hopelessness. Iba may imagine niyo. Asa makapengon? Kung ang three days sing last pagito, every everyone will die. Iba? Everyone will die. Sa mga niyo magbuhat. Usapan niyo mo appreciate ang sunlight. No, grabe na nga darkness ang imong niagian. So God was, was so gracious that it only lasted for three days. And then lastly, let's read Exodus chapter 12 verse 28 to, to 30. It says here, So the people of Israel did just as the Lord had commanded through Moses and Aaron. And that night at midnight, the Lord struck down all the firstborn sons in the land of Egypt, from the firstborn son of Pharaoh, who sat on his throne, to the firstborn son of the prisoner in the dungeon. Even the firstborn of their livestock were killed. Pharaoh and all his officials and all the people of Egypt woke up during the night, and would, a loud wailing was heard throughout the land of Egypt. There was not a single house where no one, where someone had not died. Okay, imagine. Kung sa usa ka balay, sige, imagine. No, so kung usa ka balay, kung ang bana kay firstborn, iya ang anak pag dito. So, so sa usa ka balay, either usa or duha ang mamatay. No? Usa or duha ang mamatay. Di na ko may imagine ang, ang pain no, nga na, na sinati. You know what? In the Bible, firstborn is very, very kuan kayo, and a crucial, like, even, no ka nang, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. Anak nga, hindi ka nang a-concept ba, ma? Kung unsa ang amahan, pasa niya, so, kung pero ka, imong firstborn, mo dyan na ang successor. Try to imagine, wala yung successor. Ano, bitaw, so, tanan, ang kap- mga kapitan, tanan, mga soldier, Wala sa natan ng successor. What does it try to convey? Ba, actually, ang ginoon, animalos ba? Animalos kaysa una, di ba? Sila, sila mang po nanging ani. No, and then, here comes. Parang nahitabo na. During at that time, na-imagine na ako, bisan, if, if, ibutan ta lang yun, ang anak lang sa Pharaoh ang nawala. That was devastation in itself for an, for, for an Egyptian. Kaya nga naman, Ang Pharaoh nila, by the way, ginoon na sa ilaha. Di na pares atong presidente nga, pwede rin na ito balikasun? Pwede rin na ito dautan sa social media? No, for them, their Pharaoh is considered God. God, yun na nila nga. Iniglabay, ano, nabita yung mga salida akong makita nga. Iniglabay, grabe ito ng mga tao. Yuk mo, yun mo lang yung makita ng mga gabarog. Grabe sila maka, maka, kuan ba ka nang venerate sa ilang, sa ilang Pharaoh. And then here comes, karong ipatay. Walay bisan, o sa kabalay sa Egyptian, walay gahila. Even magali mga magulang nga, mga hat, magkamagwangan nga mga anak sa ilang mga hayong patay tanan. 
I could not imagine the, the cries heard all over. So God was literally stripping the Egyptian of power, like what of a life. Among a papa grabbing he la insa na may akong successor, wala na. Na huwala tanan ang ilang paglaong. That was the scenario, and then God said, Karong gabi e, karong gabi e, ikyas mo. You know the story, before it happened, nagkan pa itong hitabo, no? Okay, momani ang pinaka-central sa gospel, which is the Passover. Okay, so, grabe ang gibuhat sa ginoo, and then, here, makita na to, last benefit, no, of, of leaving Egypt, is we will be able to transform the next generation. Naningil na ang gino, it's payback time. So, naigingan siya sa Exodus 30, itong devotional today. Then the Lord said to Moses, dedicate to me every firstborn among the Israelites. The first offspring to be born of both humans and animals belong to me. So Moses said to the people, this is the day to remember forever. The day you left Egypt the place of slavery. Today the Lord has brought you out from the power of His mighty hand. By the power of His mighty hand. Grabe ang gibuhat sa ginoo. No, nga gipakita niya. Gipatay ang tanang mga kontra. And then yung ginoo. In, in contrast, yung nga ginoo. Karong Adlawa, i-dedicate na na ninyo mga anak. Mga unang gawas, no? Sa tagawangkal. All the firstborn, yung nga ginoo, they belong to me. So, nahimutang siya o exchange. Nakita ninyo na exchange. Kung giyon sa pag-destroy sa ginoo ang kontra, maupod ang ihang pag-encourage sa mga katawan sa ginoo, okay now, you dedicate them to me. I could just imagine, no, if you if you were born during sa time, and you are an Israelite, during atong era, if you were born, every time mga naka, you don't dream anymore for your kids. What to dream for? Ngayon ka, haka ni siya, kusgani nga sulugoon. Sulugoon naman din sila puto, buwan man sila kapaingan. Haka ni siya, mahimu na siya, bantugan nga sulugoon. Haka ni siya, guwapa nga sulugoon. Huwag kay kapaingan, puro na sulugoon. Na-imagine ninyo? There's no way that you could dream. Wala, masa pa man yung idanggo, nga wala, wala mo mo'y chance. Wala mo'y laing, wala mo'y laing position sa... Sa gobyerno, wala, wala tanan. You're just a slave. So every time, mga anak sila, um, malipay sila nga, masakit ilang dughan. Sulugo na gihapon na, paingnan sa kong anak. But flashback ta, no? 80 years ago, when this happened, kagi pamatay mga anak, na iusa ka babae, na ginan lang dyan kay Ben, pag panganak yun siyang anak, sila doon siyang bana, nagkasinapot sila. Uff! Uh, Kaning bata ay pakaon na ito, crocodile? No. He is somebody. He will turn out to be somebody. He's so special. They hid him for three months. Itaguan nila. Kaya e nga naman, automatic naman sa unang. Lucky. Report. Surrender. Mga balay, mga, ang mga balay, ipang suroy. Tanang-tanak lalaki, wala. Lawog. Lawag sa krokodil, pati yun. But si Jokebed, he saw something in Moses. At that time, di pa Moses yung alam. This child is so special. We cannot afford to let him go. No, he is so special. By faith, Jokebed hid the child for three months. And then they made away. No, the drama to sila. The himo siya o basket, everything. They did for that child to be saved. And kanina nga bata ka ron, mauna ni siya si Moses. Uy, gigamit sa ginoo. So there was a great turn around during at this time. And then, when that happened, when the Lord sent judgment against the Egyptians, and when God said, this time, you, you dedicate to me all the firstborn for the first time in their lives, the Egyptians were saying, no, we can dream for our next generation. We can dream for the next generation. The firstborn Itong mga anak, hindi na sila basta-basta. God has, has a specific plan for each one of them. For the first time in their lives, kayo mo sila, Lord, dili na di ay guwapa, masulugoon akong anak. Dili na di bantugan, masulugoon. Dili na sila sulugoon. They are free people of God. 
Kaya gusto ko, napata sa Egypt. Napata sa Egypt. Anad na kayo ito nga. Sakit doon ta. Yung iyon ta. Ah, basig, mauna lang may akong kamatian na sakit. Ako, magunay sakit. Ato nang gangkon ba? Ang ani, magdiyan ang pamilya. Heart attack kamatian. Cancel kamatian. No. No. Benefit. Kasi maka-escape ta ani mga butanga. Ang benefit, ang, ang benefit is that dili na tabag antos sa sickness and diseases. Dili na nato dawaton ba nga diri ra takotob. Amen. So we could gain God's personal God's protection, we could yield financial breakthrough. We could perceive his divine direction and we can transform the next generation. Mo na gusto sa Ginoo kay naa siya dapat nga plano. Ngano na Exodus? Ano ang ipagawa sa ginoo iyang mga katawhan? Tungo kay gusto ipasundayan sa ginoo sa tibuo kalibutan that there is only one true God and He happens to be the God of Israel. That's His title. Even up to now, He is the God of Israel, the living God of Israel. Next is gusto sa ginoo na masabta na to. Ang deliverance sa mga katawhan sa ginoo from Egypt is a foreshadow of our salvation. No gusto ta sa ginoo kwaon Gusto sa ginoo nga kuwalta sa kinabuhi nga walay protection. Gusto sa ginoo nga kuwalta sa kinabuhi nga walay direction. Gusto sa ginoo kuwalta sa kinabuhi no, nga walay klarong provision. Kinabuhi nga dili na ta makadamgo para sa atong mga anak. So gusto sa ginoo nga masabtan na to pag-ayo. Lakini tanan, it's just a foreshadow, it's just a picture. Mo na ninyo ng 1 Corinthians chapter 10. No nga Remember, don't be ignorant. Remember what God did to the people of Israel. And then sa ubos, iyon dito, these were written as an example for us to follow. Isulat ni siya para makalearn ta, makainom ta, lang, say mo mo judi, ay, say mo judi, na aja gusto mahitabo ang ginoo, dili na lagi siya gusto mo magpadayo ito sa Egypt. And you know what it means for you as a person, what it means to you in, in a very personal manner. For some of us here, no? Hangtod ka doon. Uncertain ka sa inong future because you were thinking na ang imong provision nag-agad sa imong swelto, sa imong status ka doon. But no, your provision comes from the Lord. For some of you here na, Lord, wag yung direksyon akong kinabuhi. Iksoon, minumdumi ang atong direksyon na ayot sa ginoong. And He promised us, no? Sa devotion na karoon niya, ang kinabuhi is a righteous magkahayag, magkahayag, no, magkanindot, magkanindot. Kung karon gubot, gubot pa sa lukot, ma- ma- maayo na siya, matarong na siya, man- manindot na siya sa unahan. Kaya nga naman, He prepared a bright future for us, for everyone of us who will believe. Amen? For some of us, no, di wala na galing ka ng damgo, nagtanaw ta sa itong mga anak, no, na natuluya sa itong mga anak, o, kay luoy, magod may luoy, kinitanan. No, dili ka luoy, so, na kay ginoo, na ay ginoo. And then, the thing that really struck me was when God said, Moses, tell my people, I have seen their affliction. I heard their cries. I have seen, I have heard. I felt their pain. And I'm coming down to deliver them. That's why he wants us to be free. Hear the heart of God. Ayaw sugot yung soon nga, di na nakakutog. Kung nga sa kakaroon, kung sa kakaroon yung standing. Do not accept that. That's not your lot in life. God has a plan for you. God has a purpose for you. Receive His plan. Amen? I want us all to stand up. Let's just come before the Lord here. Wherever you are seated right now, just come before the Lord. Talk to Him. Oh, Father in heaven, Lord, you have seen your people. Lord, kung kinsa man ay mga sakit karon ginoo, kinsa man karon Lord, ang nakabati na 
They are helpless. Lord, nga naglisod sila because they have no provision, they have no direction. And even for those, oh God, nga wala na nagdanggo, I pray that you would just come, oh Lord. Come, Lord, and intervene. Come on, open your mouth. Israel, you know, as I have said, he's a personal God. You talk to him. Just simply talk to him. Tell him, Lord, I need you. Orog yun na iyong ipaabot. Mayinon ta, may express ta, our need of him. Lord, we need you. God, we need you. of desperation and ako ko ginoo nga mag-intervene ka sa matag sana mo ko kinabuhi o Lord itugod nga may experience yung ka na mo in a very personal way in a very personal way and that our lives will never be the same again I pray oh God for miraculous encounters ginoo sa matag sa makita Lord kung sa kakagamhanan na Diyos Lord I believe that you are the the God, Lord, of the impossibilities. There's nothing, oh God, that is impossible with you. Whatever you did, oh God, before sa mga kinabuhi, sa mga Israelites, hindi mo pong mabuhat sa mga kinabuhi ka ron. Salamat kayo, Gino. Lord, ano yung kalibutan niya? Everybody seems to be cynical. We want to be among those who believe. And you said in your word, oh God, you said in your word, that all things are possible to those who believe. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the reality sa imuhang mga saad nagampo ko nga ang matag-usa makareceive sila sa ilang portion, you know, according to their faith, according to their measure of faith. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let's remain standing. As much as God, through Moses, displayed His power against Egypt, God wants us to live in you. And uh, the whole series has been dedicated in making us realize, understand the truth. We can be set free. It's shared to us uh, that as we know this truth, the truth that we are no more slaves. You're no longer a slave. No longer a slave to fear. No longer a slave to lack no longer a slave to sickness and disease and all these other things that had bound Egypt. We no longer believe to Egypt. Our challenge this morning is you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That fateful night when the angel of death hovered over the whole land, death was required in every household. Every household every firstborn. There's not a household that is without a firstborn. Tagi ka magwangan. Even to the cattle, to the sheep, even to the animals, every firstborn is served to die. Because everyone is cursed. Is served to die. Except for the people of God. Why? Because there was that great display of God's power to pass over Every time the angel of death would see blood on the doorpost, the curse would be passed. There would be a passing over. There would be no death because the angel of death would see the blood Amen. and will realize and will take note somebody already died. And so we pass over to the next house. Jesus died on our behalf. As much as the fathers of Israel reminded their children it's because of the Passover lamb. Jesus reminded us. So we will not forget that salvation only comes by the blood of the lamb, by the sacrifice. So we're going to take our communion this morning. And we need to do this with revelation.
you worship God. Paul said, For I pass on to you what I received from the Lord Himself. On the night when He was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took some bread. And he gave thanks to God for it. He broke it in pieces and He said, This is my body which is given for you. Do this to remember me. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the offering of your son Jesus which became our Passover lamb so that emptiness has no hold over us that greed and lust cannot touch us Father thank you Lord that the yearnings of this world cannot influence us anymore thank you God that passivity is no longer our portion even troubles and hardships cannot, cannot remain in our hearts oh God. thank you Lord God, for taking us out of Egypt. Lord, thank you. Because of your blood, we are healed. Because of your blood, oh God, we have provision. We have your direction, oh God. We have divine purpose that comes from you. And we remember today, Lord Jesus, that you died for our forgiveness, for our healing. same way he took the cup of wine after supper saying this cup is the new covenant between God and his people an agreement confirmed with my blood do this to remember me as often as you drink it for every time you eat this bread and drink this cup you're announcing the Lord's death until he comes again Lord once more we announce that you died so we could live this blood blood Lord representing your blood was poured out so we can be cleansed from our unrighteousness. Your blood, Lord, that was spilled from your head is for our conquest. The blood from your hands so we can be productive once again. The blood from your side is so, Lord, we can have emotional healing. The blood from your feet so we, our purpose is restored. The blood, oh God, from your face is so we can have, Lord God, identity. And we can realize that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Lord, the blood, oh God, that you spilled at the cross is because you love us so much. And we remember that today in Jesus' name. Lord, bless your people as they partake this holy communion. Remembering, Lord, what you did for each one of them. And every step that they take towards the altar is a step of repentance, is a step of coming back to the original plan that you have for them. Bless them as they do this in Jesus' name. Let's take our communion.
because we are still bound by the God of this world. Lord, you have declared judgment over the enemy at the cross. We are here as your covenant people. We are here as your sons and daughters, as your children. Lord, we are willing to walk where you lead us by the divine direction of your Holy Spirit. We will obey. We will go to the promised land. Thank you, God, for bringing us to the next level. Lord, we will no longer desire for what is in Egypt, but with all our hearts, oh God, we walk following your steps. And that means we are disciples. That means we will grow in our knowledge of you. And that means, oh God, when we read your word, we can hear what you have to say for us. That means we are spared from sickness and disease. We are spared from financial trouble. But rather, God, you promote your people. I pray for ideas. I pray for their, God, their careers, for in their workplace. I pray, oh God, that you promote every student. Lord God, in this room, every one of us, even, oh God, if we bless emotionally, spiritually, physically, financially. We receive all those blessings by the blood of Jesus. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to Catalyst Church Podcast. For more updates, like us on Facebook at Catalyst Church Cebu or visit our website at catalystchurch.ph.